New development in the Georgia governor's race involving the 2020 election. Is this a smart strategy, though, for David Perdue? Earlier, Jeff Hollinger discussed it with NBC's Chuck Todd. There is a new twist in the Georgia governor's race. Former Senator David Perdue, only days after announcing a primary challenge to Governor Kemp, says he will join a lawsuit that aims to prove he and former President Trump were cheated out of election victories. Joining me is Chuck Todd, the moderator, moderator of NBC's Meet the Press. Chuck, here we go again. David Perdue already likely has the support of President Trump, many of his voters. W what do you make of this move? I mean, how do you interpret this? Does, does all of this help him win over these non-Trump Republicans, do you think? Jeff, I don't understand this strategy at all because most voters really care about who their governor is. And I say this with no disrespect to U.S. senators. But what I mean is a U.S. senator vote really is a test of somebody's political party, right? It, it really is. People really think about, well, what party do I want in charge? Yeah, every once in a while, maybe the person is such a good candidate that it, that it convinces somebody to switch. Governor's races are different. Governor's races are personal to people and all this stuff. So I find it to be a big head scratcher to me that this is his agenda. Why is he running? And right now he has said the only reason he's running is essentially to overturn or to be there, you know, to overturn the 2020 results in some way or, or to try to have vindication about it. I, I just don't know how that resonates with voters. And I certainly don't see how this makes him more electable in a general election. So if you are going down this path, if I, it, you know, you talk to any Republican and they'll say, look, we'd love to see Democrats waste their time on the Trump message. However, if yeah. we bring Trump into the equation, it's on us. So you're Stacey Abrams. You're sitting in Atlanta this week. Does her strategy change? Does she stick to the attacks on Brian Kemp, the allegations of voter suppression? Does she mention David Perdue? I mean, where does she go from here, do you think? You know, if I'm her, I'd ignore the primary and, and, and don't, you know, look, I, I, I always think it's, you better be careful. Don't try to pick your opponent because uh, you may get what you wish for and then you may regret it. Uh, you know, the smarter strategy for her is to begin her general election campaign now. You know, she's got that benefit. Begin it now. And I'll say this, I'm not sure that going down the voting rights road is the right general election message for her. It's not a bad primary message, not a bad thing to, to raise money and get volunteers. But I do think she ought to spend this time and this opportunity to flesh out what does she want to do as governor? Because right now I think she is almost more associated with one issue now, voting rights and, and those things, very important issue. But as I said, people, governor's races are personal for people. It, they, 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 it's pocketbook issues, it's community issues. And so that if I were her, that's what I'd be spending my time on. Look, you don't have to, you know the old adage, when, when, you, when the other side's beating each other up, just Get out of the way. <laughs> Get out of the and way. That, you know, she's been offered a gift. Yeah. Meet the Press airs Sunday morning at 10 o'clock on 11 a lot. Chuck Todd, thanks a lot. Have a great weekend.